I swear to God, so I found concealer under my eyes and my eyes don't look snatched like um, Bella Hadid, so I'm gonna cry about it. back to my channel so in today's video i thought i'd bring back a um not requested you didn't ask for but i'm giving it to you unpopular opinions part two you liked my last video and um a lot of you agreed with my opinion so that was kind of fun we're gonna do the same again <laughs> let me tell you about my story today so basically i went shopping um at eight in the morning i know i'm and it's been a Karen today. I apologize. I'm not a boomer. I promise. So like no one was social distinct. I was trying to like a get rid of supermarket, but like m watch yourself. Do you know what I mean? And you know, someone coughed near my face. I want to tell you, I've never held my breath. I like, like scooted up in a trolley so much in my entire life. Oh my God, I literally, you know, I get it, it might have just been a cough cough, but obviously like you don't know, you know? So I was just being safe. So when I got home, I literally washed my hands with like alcohol soap and you know, washed my face with that as well. And um, will I break out? Will my skin hate me? Yes. But will I be safe? Yes. So, and I'm not going anywhere and I've got no one to impress. Are we shocked by that? No. If you haven't seen my last video um, with all my unpopular opinions, I'll put it up here in the eye. I think it's the side anyway. Um, it was really good and feeling kind of funky and fresh. So um, I really hope you like this part too. If you haven't seen the rest of my videos, I did make a playlist on my channel. So I will link that down below and up here in the eye as well. If you like this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. It really does help out me and my channel a lot. Every time you give this video a thumbs up, it pushes my content to more people. So then more people and come watch my video say hey and hopefully subscribe so if you're new hi my name is Santana and I'm annoying but you know it's kind of fun and fresh so I hope you subscribe down below and turn on the post notification bell because I post videos every single Sunday and um because my birthday is coming up maybe I'll just like drop an extra video on my birthday which is the 4th of June so you never know <laughs> and yeah without further ado I low-key fun when you know what you're doing you know because I used to thrive when I knew what I was doing but then um I didn't in the exam and that's why we haven't passed maths and you know I did it throughout college as well like maths and English and um did we pass I don't know because I was asleep on results day I literally slept till 3 p.m so you know we're just gonna go with it and say that it passed so it makes my self-esteem remain at a three out of ten on a good day you know <laughs> people may disagree with me but i think cancel culture is necessary to hold people accountable for what they did if people are going around like saying like the n-word and like you know stuff that they shouldn't and like they're like 16 come on you should know what you're doing long story short my mum is black and my dad's white i was taught from a very young age literally from the age of three um don't ever say that word because it's very offensive and then like these kids that are no offense white or um you know 16 are saying it and it's like why and then when they get cancelled for it or if they do something that's very offensive they're like oh my god i didn't know what i was doing no you did i'll give you the benefit of the doubt because maybe you was like 14 and pressured you know everyone has their own story but when it gets to the point where you knew what you was doing and it was like all for fun in the background <laughs> come off it like you're not sorry and the words of miss sky jackson you're not sorry you said it you're sorry you got caught period i think it's necessary like i said but you know when we're cancelling people for not hearing the full story that's when it's a bit like Oof, maybe you should like chill out of it you know but yeah that probably didn't make any sense um but i knew what i was trying to say in my brain so i could change i really hope number three this one is more aimed at my best friend um but you know i hopefully you can agree with me like condiments like sauce belongs in the fridge so emma please put your sauce in the fridge and not the cupboard because it's disgusting you know i love you i, I love you to pieces but you know let's not um do that. Four. this is the 
this is more my opinion um, rather than, you know, this isn't offensive, it's just my personal preference. Um, I think Nutella is disgusting, if I'm really honest, you know? Also, it's made with palm oil. Palm oil comes from the rainforest and the rainforest is dying. So, you know, I won't contribute my money to that. So Gen Z, me included, all the boomers ruined everything, you know? And then they'll deny it, but, you know, that's kind of fun. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Number five, brunch. Like, mm, let's go for brunch. I feel like it's very overrated. Um, this is an, it's an opinion, but it's like, probably no one has the same thing, just due to the fact that, um, you know, you probably don't go for brunch, you know, I went for brunch maybe like three times, you know, because I think I'm a sophisticated adult, but like, uh, sometimes who are you trying to lie to, you know, um, that was really disgusting, excuse me, I apologise, um, you know. <laughs> Number six, also kind of food related. Um, I feel like watermelon is very overrated. Also, let me show you what I brought. She's beefy the house down boots. She was probably hanging there in the tree like this. Got cut and now she's in my fridge. Number seven, this one is targeted to all the mums, the boomers, the elderly. So I feel like adults, um, <laughs> hi, how you doing? Don't understand the fact that we have struggles too. Let me see you from experience, okay? From like year six to year 11, that time period is one of the most roller coaster of events, just because you're finding yourself, you have a big group of friends at the start, you were at the start. Once you like start to like find yourself and like find your like real friends, you'll go like this and you'll start distancing from people. And you know, it's hard to like accept, but then you know, when you come home after a bad day, they're like, why have you had a bad day? You just sat at a desk all day. Okay, and what about it? You sat here watching Jeremy Kyle with a cup of tea and your biscuits. Don't know. <laughs> I feel like adults don't listen to the fact that we're all, you know, screaming on the inside because it's hard to voice our opinion because all you do is get shut down. And I'm not saying this is to all parents. I get it, I get it because you're like, what is this like, you know? kid trying to tell me how to parent but i'm just saying listen to your kids you know if they're having a bad day just ask them what's going on if they say nothing we need time to you know understand our emotions within the time period of year six to year 11 this is just from the top of my head older from like year 11 onwards you know it's very much like you have like your group of friends Editing me. Um, basically, I was being really annoying and apparently I couldn't explain what I was going to say, so I'm going to tell you now. Basically, and then in this bit, I was just saying, when you go from like year 11 onwards, you'll obviously make new friends and then you'll all get like really close with your new friends. And then you may have like an argument with your like old group of friends and you all fall out. But then you'll know that once you're friends again and like if they're like your real friends, they'll forgive you and whatever thing you've done. You're like pretty little lies. Anyway, you always have them to come back. On, you know and I feel like parents don't understand the fact that even though like we're a group of like even though they're our friends we don't have to see them all the time and even though when there's a big falling out it's a more of a bigger issue than they'll ever comprehend because it's coming from you as an individual you know I say that I can speak on behalf of all girls and um, you know society and men in general don't understand the fact that just because a girl has their shoulders out or their legs out, does it mean they are asking to get harassed? I'm sorry, I just came for you. Girls, you know, I'm very sorry it still happens, like, deep from the bottom of my heart. It doesn't sound like I am, but I promise, you know, it is disgusting. And I am sorry that it happens to you more times than you've said, or, you know, and you know, it's disgusting. And if you're a boy and you're watching this and you do this, there's the door home. You're not welcome here. And also to like normalize the fact that, you know, when we're younger and it's like, if a boy's mean to you, that means they liked you. If they pull your pigtails, they like you. Uh, no. Why is it the girl's job to, you know, understand the boy's feelings? No, absolutely. I think no. As our generation and Gen Z, <laughs> period, the best, I mean, accepting generation, is the fact that um, one, we're not boomers, Two, we literally are, you know, saving the world, literally. Um, go on, Greta, my G. I hate that I said that, ill. The girls deserve better rights, you know. The girls in the gay, the girls in the LGBTQ community, period. 
deserve better. And Facebook um, needs to go. That's it. Number 11. Last but not least, we're going to enlighten the mood with um, people that eat mouth with their mouths full. And yeah, that's it for today's video. I really hope you um, made it this far. If you did, comment down below notebook emoji. I'll put a photo here or here or here. One of the three. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. If I offended you, I'm sorry, but these are my opinions and opinions are not facts. And so don't unsubscribe because, you know, I will be hurt and I will cry by it. If you like this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. It really does help on me and my channel a lot. Um, I really do appreciate it as well. We're growing quite fast as well, which is kind of fun and fresh. And yeah, if you haven't clicked subscribe already, make sure you click the subscribe button down below. Share the video with, I don't know, your mum's auntie. So I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>